A biblical tip on forgiveness. Jesus said on the cross, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Forgiveness is canceling the debt. The greater the debt, the greater the sacrifice. Christ made a great sacrifice for us when he willingly went to the cross and paid the debt for our sin. John the Baptist exclaimed this, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. You see, Jesus paid the price for the sin of the world. He took upon himself the punishment of every sin ever committed and the sorrow of everyone who ever had been sinned against. You see, because all sin is against God and sin causes God sorrow. If Jesus was willing to forgive the sin debt of this world, are we willing to forgive the sin debts of a few? You may say, I don't know if I've forgiven. When I think about it, I get angry. Remember, we said it before, the greater the sin, the greater the debt. The greater the debt, the greater the sacrifice that we need to make to cancel the debt. Depending upon the offense, forgiveness can be very painful, but it's worth it. You know why? It sets us free. You see, someone one time said that unforgiveness is like drinking poison and waiting for the other person to die. It will always start with a willful decision to forgive. After we've made that decision, there will be many days where we need to remind ourselves of the decision we made when we feel the weight of that debt and we get angry. Say this, I forgave this. Jesus helped me to put away this anger and to keep my commitment to you to forgive that person. If we make a decision before God to forgive and come to him daily for his strength, he will eventually give us the release. Some people don't want to forgive because they're afraid that person will not pay for their sin. When you feel that way, remind yourself that you didn't pay for your sin either, <laughs> right? In fact, maybe Jesus is trying to forgive them through you. Lord, we pray right now that you would give us the wherewithal to forgive. Lord, because you forgave us, help us to forgive others. Lord, we bless you and thank you today in Christ's name. Amen.